A border of a uniform width is placed around a rectangular photograph that measures 8 inches by 10 inches. If the area of the border is 144 square inches, what is the width of the border in inches? So, we'll call the width of this x. So that's x. And then we'll divide this into some pieces here. So what we have here, we have a rectangle that is 10x, a rectangle that is 10x, a rectangle that is 8x, a rectangle that is 8x, and then four squares, each of which are x squared. So the border all together is 4x squared plus 10 plus 10 plus 8 plus 8 is 36, 36x, and that should equal 144. Well, then we'll move everything to one side of the equation because this is a quadratic, and the first step in solving a quadratic is always to get everything on one side equal to zero. We can divide all terms by 4 and enormously simplify the process. So dividing by 4, we get x squared plus 9x minus 36 equals 0. Well, now it's very easy to factor. Now we see it just factors to x plus 12 and x minus 3. And if factoring is something that is a bit hazy for you, if you're a bit rusty at it, you'd like some review, I highly recommend check out Magoosh. We have over 200 videos to help you with the GMAT. And in particular, we have a whole series that will teach you about algebra and how to do things like factoring. So Magoosh Test Prep will be a big help to you if this is rusty for you. Continuing on with the fraction, the factoring, we know that if the product is 0, then 1 of these is 0. x equals negative 12 is not a possibility, but x equals 3 is a bona fide possibility. And in fact, that is the answer. That is the width of the border. Answer choice A.